Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. <laughs> this was Agent Academy, episode number 67, recorded on November 10th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Dewey J. And I'm Agent Vane. Who looks like has some coffee ready for the show, staying awake, keeping the line. Yeah, I mean, we're doing this so late. <laughs> it's past my bedtime, Goonie Guy. That's, uh, the time changes made things weird, I guess. Yeah, that's what Something it was. like that. So yeah, uh, this is 67, and we've got a, a lot to, well, maybe not super bunch to talk about, but enough for the three of us to gab about, I think. Uh, how about, about we'll uh, wrap up? How about uh, you start tonight, Dewey J? Uh, well, last time I kind of alluded to a long-term goal, and I hit that goal. Uh, we recently won 100 cycles in our cell, so that's two years of beating the frogs. Um, and so we thought we'd celebrate that with a 100 layer op. So we did 100 layers for 100 cycles at 100 hours. So 100 hours after winning 100 cycles, we threw 107 layers over our cell, uh, which was really interesting because we did it kind of backwards. We only had like five anchors and spots. I went to anchor number four and it was gone. 24 hours before the op, they removed it. It was a fire station. So we were scrambling to get to 100, but we, we hit 107. So and I hit level 15 during the op. So uh, it, was, it was a good time. That was like three days after our last show. Um, and then I just recently went to a, a first Saturday, did a little wind trading. I mean, a little bit of playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so racked in about 285K. So, yeah, that was triple AP. So probably that'll be, oh, what, 880 some once they uh, triple add up. So a little boost to get me to 16. I don't think I'm going to beat you guys at all, but, uh, I don't know. Cause see, this is, this is like the hot topic. I think we could start selling tickets to this. How far is Goonie guy off of 16? I'm, I'm too far. I'm about a million. Too, like, put a number on it. I, I'm a million and one. <laughs> I will pin <pay> you <laughs> 1.1 million. Yeah. From 16. Yeah. 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 I just hit 15. At the November IFS, and I'm pretty certain you could get a million before I can manage to get like the 15.8 that I still need to get uh, to get to hope, 16. But. Hopefully, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like the real race is going to be between me and Vane. I mean, that's just, <laughs> you know, he should be able to do a million. Maybe. We, well, we have uh, agent stats now um, with all of our scores on it, so. Uh, we can keep track there and see how we do. Yep. If you want to get on that, you can. Uh, we can give you that app in the, or the that link in the show notes and uh, see where you end up. And then if, if y'all both beat me, then I'll just have to cancel my account and <laughs> walk away because obviously I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just signed up to the group. It really was that easy. Um, well, and it so was surprising. I'm going to start crying. Because I hadn't really Sorry. used agent stats for uh, probably a year, like since I really started using Prime. Because it, at the beginning, it was just kind of like a, not a, I don't think it worked or something. Or maybe yeah. I didn't try it at the beginning. I don't think they had the copy working for a while. Um, but now, yeah. So y'all were telling me, hey, you know, you haven't done your stats, so go do it. And I just, uh, you know, went and hit the copy button and then opened up agent stats and immediately asked. Hey, you have this on your copy board or your clipboard. You want to, you know, upload it? And I was like, "Yes, let's do it." And you were even like, "Oh, uh, I guess you just 
updated because it's now new <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah, I was beat. I was really close to him, and then all of a sudden, just like I just dropped. So that's okay. <laughs> well, if you're if you're trying to catch up um, with uh, Intel Ops, you might have difficulty with that because mm-hmm. I'm leading <laughs> the board on that one. Yeah, yeah, you are. I mean, the only thing that I'm leading is if I jungle a ball. I think for the last month I was leading for Illuminator. But I really had to work to get me to the top. You guys are near the top for a couple other things. So I think, Vane, you were at the top for what? What were you? I mean, I've got stealth ops, but like yes. no one else really has stealth ops on the board. <laughs> so does that really count? Own it. Well, it does count. It does. <laughs> yeah. It's just like he, he's, got, he's got it for a recruiter, you know. That's going to be hard to pass. Got my five... Recruits. I think Zelly was one of those, so that's how it goes. Yeah, no, that's that's I mean recruiters not coming back, at least from what we've heard on the forums, yeah. at least in its current iteration. So maybe eventually like that locked badge will go away. That'd be nice. Yeah. Should someone wow, someone should poke Andrew and say, Hey, maybe <laughs> we should clean that up. Yeah. <laughs> well it'd be funny I, to see like what are the totals on that for a recruiter like does do how many people have Onyx Recruiter? There are people that do legitimately have it. Don't really know what the numbers are. I think through agent stats, you can look at just global for anybody that's uploaded for different things. So you could probably poke around and find that. But there are some people that took that very seriously as a I'm going to get this to Onyx. Oh wow! Uh, and really own it. But don't know if there's anyone out there that would have it recursed. Yeah. If you do, say something. Tell us, no. show us, send in the screenshots. And I think we're going to, maybe in future shows, we may uh, have Agent of the Week. We'll pick out a stat, see who's the top. So get some more people into Agent Stats, and uh, who knows, maybe you'll be the top. It's Agent Dewey J again. Yeah. I think you're going to have to quit <laughs> picking the uh, the winner pick, of this each week. Well, yeah. It took me an hour to figure this out, but I'm number one for... <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have fun during double AP. Yeah. So that's all I got to say. Yeah. And that starts uh, soon. I guess we'll talk about that in a uh, situation report. Um, what else y'all have going on? I, I didn't re- really have much going on this week. Just, just working stuff. I have been trying to um, get more AP to, I, I wanted to get to 16 before the double AP event. And, uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm going to see how close I can get to it. Yeah. It looks like so if you did you, here. Yeah. You're going to push that button? Yes. So you are going to recurse if you can get it. I I just can't really uh, see uh, why not. Yeah. Like That's a good reason. Like that's a very good reason. Push that button. It's it's going to suck. <laughs> but at <laughs> least I have time before the next anomaly to get you know, some AP and some levels, right? You know, we had a guy Perfect that uh, he figured it out that he wanted to do the recurse and he did it just before a first Saturday. So he got the double AP and he could really rack up all the points real quick. So I think he jumped six levels in like two hours. Of course, he went from one to, you know, one to seven. And if you're going to do that, make sure you do it a couple of days before yeah. first Saturday. That, yeah, because he, he was like, he was like, oh, I got, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over. So, yeah, he he timed it just right. Yeah, now to see if I can get the score. To, can I get it right at forty million? Like forty million and one recurse. Like so, it's just like right on forty million recurse. Right on the any AP go for, for uh, recursing. Do what? No, you, you don't get. AP for recursing, but I mean, you get the you get the badge, you get the wings, and then any of your medals that are double onyx or more, you get the multiplier on. So, any time that you look at an agent, now that we're prime only for the scanner, you're going to see the little recursion wings next to their agent name, and then you'll see the wings on any of their badges that are recursed. Sweet, and then it's it's going to be hard so to you know you want that. see like. <laughs> How how they are going to add in more levels later on? Because it's like, do they just go off total AP, which I assume they would have to, 
versus mm. you know recursed AP, and then do those levels add into the whole recurse, recursion, recurse stats? Well, if Niantic doesn't like they usually do, they're just going to say starting now, and then you know go from there. So the way I would like to to see it, like just going off of the speculation side, is if there are going to be any additional levels that they take recursion in as a a factor. So if you want to hit like a level 17, you've got to recurse once, get back up to 16, and then have some other badge requirement plus the recursion badge Mm -hmm. to hit that next level. And then if you want, you can recurse at that point, or you can just keep going and just have the benefits stack. That way there's always some incentive to keep going and striving for something higher. Because, you know, we're all hopeless addicts. So, <laughs> and we can ingress too. But I need more AP. Personal. That's <laughs> awesome. So, what else? What else we got? Uh, have y'all been up to? Bane looks like he's been busy. Yes. Yes, yeah, I, I had a, a couple of things on the list. A few, just a few short things. So, um, I think my one follow up item that I had from the previous show was the, the Go Rook Light that I attended in Sleepy Hollow, New York, back on October 26th. So I did survive. I'm still here. Uh, flesh and blood, Yay. or at least this simulacrum body survived that specific <laughs> Go Ruck event. So we're, we're doing good so far. Um, it, it definitely was a mental thing for me. I think towards the end of the event there, when we're getting the patches, I'm like, okay, I need to sign up for the next thing and go for a Go Ruck Tough. And segueing right into that, we also have a uh, agent that just completed a, their first to go rock tough yesterday. Uh, Asuna <laughs> Yui, shout out to to her for joining the go rock GRTs as a you know ingress GRT. So our community is is continuously growing, and you know just a shout out to her for completing her first uh, tough event as well. And I think, yeah, first Saturday, I ended up racking in just shy of 400,000. I got, I think, 364K AP. So when the triple comes for that, that'll be nice. Um, And going in, I've got a lot of notes on here for the tessellation. For those that weren't aware, on Saturday, so yesterday, uh, Philadelphia had a competition for the Helvetica Tesserae. And Stuart Leitner, those of you that are in Operation Essex should know that name. Those of you that are not, uh, Stuart Leitner is one of the wonderful uh, folks that had been working with Nemesis a little bit in the past, uh, but currently appears to be doing a little bit of freelance work, quote unquote, uh, stealing the Tesserae pieces and trying to give them to the agents uh, to assist their factions if they can gain them in the tessellation. So Stuart was in the city of Philadelphia yesterday with a tessera and first agent to find him was awarded that tessera after completing a small challenge. So agents be on the lookout for similar events. I can tell you that from Philadelphia, it was a very fast paced and interesting event. Not a lot of ingress play happening. Scanners were open, agents were out on all street corners, both factions everywhere. Uh, if you've ever seen paranoid agents back in the old days, people looking for anyone that has phones out, just imagine that times 10 and you have a <laughs> hunt for a physical Tessera. Uh, afterwards, Stuart was available to answer a couple of questions for Essex. So we had some juicy details in there, uh, as well as some rumors of potential exogenous influence coming to the scanner soon. Trademark, definitely on the soon <laughs> trademark side. So does that mean you think like a, a, a mini event? Like, you know, just I don't know, it's hard to say. kind of thing? Stuart was kind of leaning more towards the, like he, he was really paranoid when we started going into these questions afterwards. You know, like he just kind of started looking around and said, you know, the exogenous, we, we've seen them influence the scanner before. Uh, I think he was hinting towards the anime a little bit on that one. So read into that how you will but it seems like we've got a couple of things that are coming soon, and hmm. really that's all we know. Hmm. I noticed something a little different on my scanner. We'll get to that a little later. Maybe that's tied in. Who knows? 
<laughs> well, then I'm, I missed out on the the uh, first Saturday this month. I'd planned to go, and I, I got up and I was doing some ingressing, and then I was like, okay, well, I, I need to leave like any minute now because it's like you know two hours to get to um, where I need to go, and and so I went to go look at the map, and I was like, oh wait, it's not in Birmingham this month. It's in <laughs> uh mississippi it's uh three hours away <laughs> um so i'll be an hour late if i start now so i'm going to just miss out on it today mm-hmm. what's that uh banner ruck have you heard of much about the banner ruck i have details heard. just for the new revi- you know revision to the the banner ruck yeah. i think this is what, the 3.0 revision i haven't read a whole lot of the details in yet, but I've been getting a lot of pings like, hey, are you coming out for the Banner Rock? Where are you going? So I, I may go to Philadelphia for that. I may go to D.C. Uh, somewhere, but we need a sacrifice. The The Banner Rocks, you always need the quote-unquote Ruck Virgin. Try to keep things PG-13, <laughs> I swear. Uh, so you just need somebody that hasn't done a Ruck before. There's a couple of other requirements in there. Um, Go out, do a banner. I believe you need to hit a certain distance, um, mm-hmm. and you have a good time, and you get a, a patch for it. So, if you're interested, now is definitely the time to do yeah. it. I have a couple of people in our uh, Telegram were talking about. Oh, I've never done a ruck, so this might be a good way to start. So, oh yeah, that's how the addiction starts. That's <laughs> it's like the gateway drug. You you get a patch, you do some ingress stuff, and then the next thing you know, you're signing up for stealth ops. And then <laughs> and you're going you know, straight into the go ruck heavies. You're just skipping over everything else and hey, just go next for thing, that. Next thing you know, you're wading in on a beach in, in some foreign country, right? <laughs> <laughs> or eating bugs. Or eating uh, bugs. You know, Lawn challenge participants. They, I think, really love that part. Uh, uh, a little mm, much yum, for me. Bugs. So is that? Um, is that everybody's stuff for this week? Should we move on? Just move on. So we will move on to you. Situation report. No bump, video bumper this week. Just audio. Uh, but uh, we have a few things. Uh, big thing is Ingress update two point three five dot two. Added some things such as. Uh, safety messages. Everybody's loved those so yeah. much in Pokemon Go and in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. We must get those in Ingress. So not really shocker they're there. I'm not sure anyone yeah. uh, cares one way or the I other. Think my but. favorite so far has been when I go to open the app after I put it in my my car holder, so I can start picking up XM on the way to work. And it's like, remember, do not play Ingress while driving. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm just, I need that recharge XM. You say no car grassing. I think I saw a screenshot of somebody with uh, redacted and a couple of those messages in there. I'm like, I don't know how they pulled that off. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what happens if you, I, I assume that it just tells you can't open it, right? Maybe there's some rooted versions. It, yeah, something. it says your uh, scanner's out of date and it tells you you need to update it. I mean, that was the last time I did it. I've taken it off my phone since then, so. Yeah. Maybe it's the skin coming soon. That's that's him. Mm. It's some exogenous at work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, also uh, in, they increased XM brightness on high end devices. And oh yes, <laughs> added portal names to the Beautiful. long press menu. Yeah, that portal names thing is really really handy, especially when you're in a. Uh, an area that you have a lot of portals and you know that one of these is the one I'm looking for and instead of having to open them up and see what they are you just you know put your finger on it and hold for a short time and it'll tell you what the name of that particular portal is and uh, one of the things that I found out is if you do that that also has a little pop-up there's a uh, hack key or hack keyless so that comes in real handy uh, if you're not driving down the street but if you're a passenger in a car and you have that out, uh, you can kind of, you know, click on it and hold. And then when you get within range, slide up, get your key, go on to the next one. So I, I really like that. That's a, that's a good one. And I know Vane earlier said that uh, that's been in there a few uh, releases. But I, I just noticed it, too. And yeah. um, 
getting a lot of use out of it. I like that feature a lot. So good work, Niantic. Nice. If, you're, if you're walking, you can even kind of like preemptively tap on the portal, and then when you get in range, you can make the selection. Yeah. So that's a nice little feature. Yeah. And then also they have added help text to indicate why a portal link cannot be created. That, that'll be interesting. I haven't actually seen that pop up yet. So I haven't either. Um, so if you're, if you're fielded over, that is one of the situations where it'll pop up and be like, hey, you're under a control field, so, so no. you can't do it. Do you is think it kind of, kind of similar to the one that, you know, they used to say long distance link. Uh, what is it? Long distance link and it's unverified or something. And it'll try to do the link, but it won't go. I assume it's similar to that. Yeah, and well. I think a few of the situations where, like, uh, if you're at a portal and you already have the maximum outbound links, It'll those die. situations, or uh, the older messages, I, I believe Redacted used to have a few of those where, mm -hmm. like, Origin Portal does not... It's not like, fully deployed. Not fully resonated. If you happen to be under attack right after you fully deploy it, yeah. similar things like that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah. handy. Do you think... Um, uh, what, what do you think if they added in a feature where if you were covered over, it actually said, would you like um, us to select the port, the nearest portal that you could take down to basically uh, get rid of that cover? So it's like, head over, destroy that portal kind of thing. Like a, a blocker? Well, no, it's like you're covered over, so you can't make a field or link from oh, that portal. Here's how goes, you... Hey, why don't you go blow up this portal, and then you'll be able to. That's almost it's making it too easy. I think that'd be nice for like a, nice, but... an extension of the navigate feature. I I, yeah. I miss being able to actually press anywhere on the map and, and get the navigate functionality to where I could say, no, I want to go over here, or I want to hear the ping to go to this next portal, so... I really hope that that functionality is coming back at some point. And as an extension of that, other use cases, I think for newer agents, uh, that would be a nice thing, especially when you are a newer player and you're entering into an area with the perma field. Mm -hmm. Even just being able to get a little bit of a hint saying, you need to go over here and take care of this portal before you're going to be able to do anything else yeah. in terms of links. Yeah, I guess if you if you don't use IITC, it's hard to figure out where you need to go. I mean, you have the you know the stock intel, but uh, yeah, I, I could see that would be tough to figure out. Yeah, you're just covered. Can't do anything. Also, <laughs> they added in some store items at the end of the carousel slide, so when you get there, you'll see a few things uh, like fracker packs and and uh, some bundles, I believe. Yeah, I think there's a builder bundle and an attack bundle, and uh, last time I checked, it was 25 frackers. I don't know oh, how often... All the baskets of fries. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how often. I just really, really need 25 frackers right now. But uh, evidently, you can do that. Yeah, I wonder if it's to... Because they also added in nano packs for level 1 through 6 or something, mm -hmm. which are, I believe, some sort of bundles for uh, new players. So I wonder if it's to kind of get the new players, hey, there's stuff you can buy to <laughs> make life uh, easier, I guess, for you. It could be. Yeah, it's just like a, a handful of uh, bursters or a handful of ultra strikes, I think, are the offerings right now. And I think there's one for resonators as well. It's just supposed to be, if you're just shy of being able to complete whatever you're doing, it's a microtransaction just for that specific little amount of items to, to keep you going. Yeah, but I think they're testing it, and I mean, I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I, I don't think as a as a newer agent that would really necessarily be a helpful item for me. Like, I, yeah. it, it might be. I know that when I went to first Saturday, I just I blew all of my resonators. I was the only thing I had left were like level eight resonators because I wasn't expecting to go, so I didn't load up. So on the way home, I'm like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll throw a couple links. And I'm like, I can't throw a couple links. I've got to go get some resonators. And it would have been nice to have been able to buy, you know, some fours, some fives. And, you know, I can, you can pick up one and twos, but maybe fours and fives, six and sevens are hard to find if you're not in an area that has a whole bunch of different uh, portals lit up. So that might, might be That's handy. That's true. 
in terms of a like I, I always just think if I can just hack so if I had the ability to hack even an enemy portal and getting a little bit more payout from it that would be just as good as, as maybe like a nano pack so the nano packs are you know 10 20 items at a time for those specific type to where yeah. I almost think something like the first Saturday bundle would be more benefit to a newer player. Yeah. So if they could purchase 120 R1s or, you know, like 50 XMP at a time for their level, you might get outside of the nano pack. It might be a little bit builder, you know, yeah, or yeah. a little bit connector, some of the other pack styles that are in there now. But I think that would be more of a benefit if I'm locked out of doing something as a newer agent rather than just 20 bursters at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, Ingress is really much more different than their other games in that aspect in that you need a lot of items. Like, you need to um, add the resonators and the shields and all that just to um, get the AP where... Normally, like Pokemon Go, you need balls to throw at things. And, and yeah, you can make it easier to uh, catch stuff with some of the fruit. But, like, I have... I'm, I'm throwing all that crap away. Like, no fruit, no whatever. I just need balls. <laughs> <laughs> can we quote you on that? Parents are going to be so <laughs> proud. And so Ingress, I guess, really needs balls. One but... is, like, berries for Ingress. But, no, you're like, no, I don't, I don't need any of those. Like, what if you had a mod that you could deploy on an enemy portal that would, you know, not not necessarily a mod, but an expendable item that you could deploy on an enemy portal that would increase your critical hit ratio for the next couple of bursters or, or something similar to right. that. Like, if you're a lower level agent and you need to peel off some shields that are a little bit stubborn on a nearby portal, now everyone is going to be screaming, and this is an absolutely horrible idea. But... Uh, <laughs> You know, just speculating on different yeah. things that you can do. Obviously, you'd want to consider game balance and how an item like that would work. But there are ways to, I think, make the initial progression for low-level agents better other than just like a, a trickle of low-level bursters, low-level resonators. Right. Because, I mean, until you get to five, you don't really need so much the bursters as much, right? Hmm. You can't really yeah, just build. Go and build. So, uh, Find neutrals. Yeah. So it's so it's like go and 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 do that. So it's like what items can you get to facilitate that? Or you know, like you said, maybe there's some kind of boost for lower level players that's an item that they can use for thirty minutes that makes them um, attack as a fifth level player or something. You know, or sort of like a, a fracker light. Yeah, for bursters. Yeah. It's like. Uh, uh, a, a bracker, but um, <laughs> but then like some sort of item that actually boosts the level of the portal for, uh, like you said, I can get fives all day long, fives and below. But when it comes to the six and the sevens, like there's just not enough um, uh, players around here for me to get those. So mm -hmm. and I can get the eights all day long because we do have a couple eights, right? That's and that's the farm, and we don't go like well, let's just have. Uh, three eights and one seven and a six so we can get every you know all the other resonators yeah but what if i could almost like an ito in like downplay the or up the Downgraded. level of the portal where i need to get the resonators and it doesn't actually change the level of the portal portal but the output for me doesn't have to be for everyone i guess it could be a group thing too but it just for the next hour or something it gives me whatever level I need or something. I don't know. Some items like that. Eat a rainbow. It just changes the output to, to anything, but the go. chances are all over the board, so it's all randomized. That'd you could cool. hack ones constantly, but you might get an eight. That sounds a lot like a slot machine, but... <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, but I like that. Maybe it could even be like a, a glyph slot thing. <laughs> and if the glyphs all line up... Bing. That almost sounds like what's in the capsule, but... Oh, well, go ahead. Yeah, we don't really do that anymore, so we might as well just <laughs> sprinkle it in. Yeah, just put it in when we can. Okay, so that's the update. Oh, except for the uh, speculative fix to address the soft lock when returning um, from background, which 
sounds like kind of possibly the issue that we talked about with um, that we call speed lock in some mm-hmm. instances when you get into like a low um, Wi-Fi area or something. Because a lot of times I am driving with some other app on instead of Ingress in that situation, and then I dive into where I'm going to be playing Ingress and pop Ingress up. And so maybe that is part of the issue is that it's like switching the app and it's like in some weird state. Yeah, it's not the active state and then it kind of gets lost. So we'll see. And it should also return to the active state a little bit quicker. So like if you do have the app in the background and then bring it to the foreground, you shouldn't have to wait quite as long for it to to pull down details. Uh, And then I do think it it can potentially help with the speed lock, but that's always going to depend on how fast, how far are you moving, and a lot of other things. I think that's more just like the long wait to get current state around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's there's like multiple issues. There's speed lock, but then there's these other issues that are more bugs. Like um, I know the thing we've talked about in the past where it's like entering into a low cell signal just briefly. Um, I think it's briefly as you're turning and you turn and your scanner's like pushing you one direction. Their service, oh no, they're supposed to be over here because you're, you went through this space of like, they didn't know where you are. So they're predicting that you're continuing down the road and then you turn off and then they're like, wait, you're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be over here. You're lying to us. You're spoofing. So (laughs) speed lock. You're super. So close out your app five times and, well, I know it, around here, you know, we're just like, we're going to move. If we're going to be going over 40 mile an hour, just, you know, back out of it and make sure that you go in and see if it's still running in the background. So not only quit it, but then go in and, and get rid of it in the background. And that seems to work really well. Uh, but like you said, you get in that low cell area, it's going to take it a long time to come up. But hopefully they're fixing it. I mean, I, if they figure out what it is, I'm sure they will. Um, speaking of fixing stuff or doing stuff niantic brian uh mentioned they're working on a subscription an ingress subscription uh but until they get that figured out which will uh take some bit there they're wondering what would be something that we would pay for monthly like a bundle with a metal that increases each month that you buy the bundle for like seven thousand cmu um I, I, I guess it depends what that bundle is. Yeah, and I, I almost uh. just want, like, no items to come with this. Like, I already have enough trouble managing inventory as is on the day-to-day. I just want to be able to support Niantic with mm-hmm. this. Yeah. So if they are going the subscription route where you get a scanner metal as a support that just says support. agent has supported ingress for this amount of consecutive months and then it tears up if you have a streak going or or something like that Um, or just if you've supported for x number of months it just ticks off like any other badge i would almost prefer to just have that rather than them try to saddle me with a passcode every month for x amount of items i imagine some players would want different things so some people might want that they might want a hundred item 50 item badge and the passcode coming along with it but i think if niantic is you know willing to offer that in a couple of different varieties maybe you could have a supporter tier and then a supporter tier with items or some other perks so a sugar daddy badge (laughs) yeah i it is um i mean i think it's good to get rewarded for supporting Niantic and I think it's it's interesting to um, see like well what if it what if there is a badge just for uh, you know it's you're in, in essentially buying that badge but it's like no I'm showing my support I'm basically paying them each month because I enjoy their game month uh, enough mm-hmm. and in turn they're giving me a badge uh, because I'm nice enough to do that um the bundles and, and stuff that, that that they may talk about, I hope that they do something where it is a code. You know, if they do something like that. So it's like you can use it when you have room 
or even better i think if they made the stuff that you bought with cmu um in a different inventory that was basically an unlimited inventory or something that i think it would i think they would sell more like yeah. i think like you're saying it's like well i ran out of i'm already full like if i get some bundle i'm gonna have to delete a bunch of stuff just to have the bundle or i'm gonna be over cap and and uh, <coughs> that's painful as it is so yeah i like your idea yeah. of code your code's a good idea because you can like you said use it when you need it or if if it's you know you're on an op and somebody needs something it's like oh here i can send you a code and you can let somebody else burn it for you I just have a hard time with those codes. Like I have, you know, from every anomaly, I have a couple, you know, cards for, but they're sitting in a thing waiting for an emergency, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, good not, ones. I'm not just going to drop it and, you know, oh, well, I've got a, a bunch of crap right now and I'm already full with crap. So now I'm even more full with crap. And I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, it sounds like the answer is you got to do more ops so that you can use them. Well, I don't okay, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always want to do more hours. Well, but um, do what? What were you saying, Bing? More shards on more remote islands. That's what those <laughs> passcodes are designed for. You have an agent that's sitting on a mountaintop somewhere. Or they're out in the middle of the ocean, and they just really need a flip card. Yes. There you go. Yep. Send me a message. I, I, think, I, I if I'm recalling correctly. I do believe there was some discussion from Niantic in the forums regarding the fact that they were having issues with like items as passcodes because something to do with that. I think at least like the Apple store, <coughs> this goes back to redeeming passcodes through the scanner app where for iPhone users, you have to go into the Intel map to do code redemption. I think there's some regulations at play there where you can't necessarily have item bundles for sale outside of the, the scanner, which is why the anomaly metals and different things now have to be loaded into the scanner rather than something that you can go onto a website and purchase a kit. So I'd almost like to see, rather than a you know passcode, what if you took the contents of a passcode, boiled it down into one item, and then made that item something that could be traded between agents? Um, obviously, you'd have to be a little bit more careful with something like that, or even if I could just designate, if I could go into the store and say that I'm purchasing this bundle for this agent, um, some sort of mechanism in play there to achieve the same thing. Because I've heard from a lot of people that either organize first Saturdays or just organize events or in the case of what Dewey J is saying with ops, being able to have the flexibility of having items in code form that you can give out to other agents is part of the reason why so many of us bought those in the first place. So the loss of that functionality is why a lot of people are saying they're not buying kits uh, at the moment. Yeah. I like that idea of like being able to hand off kits. And we've talked in the past about, um, some way to like basically trade with other agents without just having to drop it on the ground. And I know that that's like, you know, there's some people who probably think that's like inherently part of ingress that like, Oh no, 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 you can't just trade with someone. You gotta put it on the ground. But I think it would be great in a situation like this. Like you don't want to like get a bundle for someone for a prize and then someone else pick it up. And, um, I th I still think there probably should be something where it's like, well, no, you need to be, you within know, range. with within range uh, of some things or or sending capsules via links. The the old like throwback from way back in the day where, like, no, we want to send capsules via links and fields. Uh, 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 I'm not sure that would be a technical great. hurdle to overcome, but that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But in in um. I'm trying to think. I mean, you don't trade anything in Wizards Unite, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can do a little bit of trading in Pokemon with. You do gifts. You can trade you? in Pokemon, but yeah, yeah you have gifts. to like a certain amount of Stardust, depending on the the Pokemon and the situation. And I apologize to anybody out there that is super yeah. serious with Pogo. I know the basics, yeah, but I have friends level. And, and stuff and. And then the higher level friendship, the cheaper it is to like 
trade stuff, I think. Trade Pokemon, at least. Um, yeah, so if, if Ingress had some sort of mechanism for that as well, for, for exchange, maybe if you did have those kits where, oh, well, if you're going to trade this kit, you need to offload, I don't know, maybe like a micro amount of chaotic matter or items or something, some way to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, if they started doing um, dailies, which maybe they'll start working on with, with uh, now that everything's moving to Prime, if they get all the back-end stuff done, but we'll work on some kind of daily um, things, missions that uh, agents can do uh, that possibly get just a little bit of CM, and then you start getting people used to making purchases with Chaotic Matter on the store, then hopefully that leads to them actually purchasing more stuff, maybe more inventory space. Can we get a little bit of that? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think inventory space would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many new item types that have come into the scanner over the last few years that, you know, I know everybody else that's out there that is a hoarder like myself, you've got 50 soft banks, you've got hundreds of viruses, you're looking at all the multi-hacks, heat sinks, Edo's, it becomes a, a nightmare because everything that you're holding is something of value. And yeah. you don't want to use any of it because it's super valuable. Uh, <laughs> but now you need to level up. <laughs> yeah. And, and you need but, just so resonators, the boring yeah. items. <laughs> but it's it's like a house. No matter how big a house you get, you fill it up. And then you, play, yeah. you build a bigger <laughs> one and you fill it up. So, it, Which is exactly why they could make money off that, right? They <laughs> could. It's like, they could. There's some people who will just keep buying space and keep buying space and because they it's an outlet for them to actually give them money each month or give them money at all for something that feels like a value to them where people who are better at managing their space and better are like well i might buy a little bit but um i don't know i, I know that's always been kind of a kind of a, a feel part of the game like oh inventory management and see what you can do with your your space and and, and that but um it, at some point, I think that's also a good excuse to not add uh, space mechanics into a game. Like, uh, let's work on everything else, but tell them it's uh, this or that. And um, I think it's okay at this point. I mean, I don't know how big you can get your bags and stuff and in, in, uh, all the other games, but, um, you know, start selling some space. People will buy it. <laughs> also... The uh, uh, AMA opened up, but it's already closed, so um, <laughs> we, we should expect answers in, in the next couple weeks. Sometimes it's a couple days, usually it's a couple weeks, but it's always interesting to see the questions and the answers that come from those, so keep an eye out on those, and maybe we'll get them during the Year 7 event, which will be starting in like five days, I think, next Friday, this Friday, this upcoming so Friday. So the 15th. The 15th. It'll be Friday. Friday. Yeah. So that'll run for uh, two weeks. Wow. Straight oh. through until the 30th. Oh, it's a little bit more. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, hopefully that'll mean uh, uh, double mods, double eights, double se sevens. It'll be double something. And maybe they'll just go ahead and go, you know, that triple AP went really well for first Saturday. Let's just triple AP this one. That's what you're betting on, isn't it? That's how you're going to get, you're going to recurse and then go with that. I, I mean, it's just a million, right? <laughs> yeah, you knock out a million in a week. That's uh, that's not, especially with double AP. I mean, that's, that's, uh, oh, you mean before? Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, won't before. get the million before. I'll see what I can, but, um, I would say if you're Zelly Belly, you could do it, but you know, yeah, not you're not down Zelly. here in Huntsville, Alabama. No. We just don't have enough um, portals that aren't green. Yeah, and that's the thing. We we've when we did our hundred, we you know the, the first seventy five or so cycles, we had a lot of competition, and then it just got to the point that we were beat. I guess just beating on them so bad that it got tough. I mean, I drove forty five minutes yesterday to get the nearest link that was green. So we got to back off a little bit and 
let him come back to life. But I mean, it's it's the way of anybody that you know. If you dominate an area, you're just going to kill off the other side. Yeah, this is a game where you need both sides to, yeah, you know, to do anything. So I should probably back up on the dates because I think in the past I've been remembering this as running longer because it's felt long after all those nights in the field trying to get the double AP. But it looks like. November 15th might be when we get the, you know, start could be a little bit later. I think in the past, uh, for year six, it was November 17th through the 26th. So yeah. I would expect the similar time frame. I know every year that it's the same time yeah. pretty much I know year. Brian uh, tweeted a, that it would be the 15th, that Friday, is when it would start. And that's a good time so to start on a Friday because people are more active over the weekend. Sorry, I'm fixing the website at the same time doing the podcast. But, uh. <laughs> well, we <can> talk about- <laughs> how dare you? We got the trusted reporter version two has uh, been in beta testing, and uh, looks like Krug says it's going well, uh, but they need to work on an issue, which means it's not going to be uh, it'll likely be announced in a week or two. So uh, that's rebuilding, and sounds like it's going well. Yeah, uh, I'm really forward to the public release. Um, Andrew did state that the Vanguards had been working to test, so I am at least able to say that I was also helping test the program out. And I know talking with a lot of agents, there have been a lot of concerns that how is this going to work if the TRs are anonymous? And to that, I think I'm safe in just saying that I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that the system will work. Um, it, it's not like you're never going to be able to find the means to submit reports. So a lot of people were really worried. How are we going to do this if we don't know who the TRs are? You don't need to know who the TRs no. are. It will work without that. You just need to know a place online that you can submit the form and hit the submit button. Yeah, so once once the details of that go public and everything's online. I really hope that this starts to, to quell some of the spoofer problems that we're running into because right now I've been spending a lot of nights just talking with people saying, okay, we've got a spoof here, we've got a spoof there, gathering all the information and, and trying to do what we can to keep things in check. But obviously we need the greater community to solve that problem through just reporting and that way hopefully Niantic can improve upon their process uh, for future iterations. Yeah. And, you know, you have those people that say, why can't you make a bot that, you know, figures that out and just takes care of it? But, you know, anytime you do a bot, you're going to run into problems. I know that I was looking at a report uh, just a couple of days ago about somebody who his account just went away and he couldn't figure out, you know, why his account went away. And what he kind of tied it down to uh, was that he had a Google account and then he tied his account to his Facebook account. And then he unlinked the Facebook account, and that kind of screwed things up. And uh, so, yeah, he's looking at uh, just a loss of his account because of kind of those mechanics. And I think some of that was that they tried to fix it on the back end, and it didn't go well or something like that. But anytime you have a bot, you're going to find that exception. And it's it's going to possibly screw things up. Yes. Yeah, but we should be able to help that agent out. So, like, if yeah. if that situation is still open, I, I think I caught a little bit of that on Reddit. But if that situation is still open and that agent hasn't gotten some sort of restoration, mm-hmm. just make sure that we're still openly communicating those things to Niantic. Yeah, and I think that's where he was at. Is that he was he was still communicating, and they were looking at, at you know rebuilding a database and the whole nine yards. So I know that Niantic seems to be going above and beyond to fix the situation. But stuff stuff happens, right? Like, like I had someone delete my uh, admin account at work, and was like, you know, I need that to get into websites. So if we could, uh, <laughs> if we could, uh, you know, I don't know, get that back for me, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. It's like taking the truck away from the trucker. You know, kind of need that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, that's um. That's things break like the website, but the website's <laughs> kind of fixed now. But also r- reminded me that uh, there was 
that there needed to be a badge for the end of this episode, so I had to okay, add get that, that real going. quick. But uh, uh, hopefully that'll work <laughs> later. Um, so trusted reporter, we got that. Um, what's this world L six HFC? Homogeneous field. Have you guys heard much about homogeneous fields? Um, yes, I haven't yeah. done one in a long I, time. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm looking at what it would take to do that. I'm like, dang, that's it's tough. But basically, it's a a field that contains x number of layers, no matter where it's at in the top layer. So all areas of that field would be five layers or four layers. Um, so they had a couple of six layer homogeneous fields uh, that. And they have a uh, a website that you can submit your six uh, layer homogeneous field. So that's what L six HFC is. Um, I don't know if anybody has done a seven layer. Yes. No. I have no clue. I have no clue either. I've only seen six. So we need a, we need one of the uh, Agent Academy agents to go out and. Do the world's first seven-layer homogeneous field, or if there's a seven, do an eight. If there's an eight, do a nine. Um, but it looks like there's a, quite a bit of engineering to make that work, uh, because the edges, you know, out to the edges have to be all the way through. So uh, there's that. Wayfair. Um, have you d done anything in, in Wayfair since? I've done a little bit. Um, it's, it's really nice that you can go back and see which ones you, you know, you're holding on. I think I've seen, at least in our area, uh, some of the submissions have gone through quicker. I had a submission that two days time it was back and it was, it was approved. Of course it was, you know, a pavilion in a park where they do a lot of drinking. So that might have something to do with it. I don't know. Um, uh, but they also it looks like a uh, the 25th of October, uh, no, uh, Niantic slipped a little bit and uh, opened up Wayfarer to some select Pokemon players, uh, level 40 players. Um, so that's kind of out there in an unannounced beta. Um, it's not in all areas. Um, so. We've had a lot of discussion about, you know, what are we going to see when Pokemon comes online and all these guys start to uh, submit and, and uh, approve and, you know, is this just going to be a, a glut of portals or, or, or what? Um, I don't know. Or will it be a, 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 a mecca of just awesome uh, being able to play Ingress everywhere? Could be a great thing. It could. It could. I mean, it'll make it e definitely make it easier to uh, plan ops. You'll you'll have to you don't have to work too hard to find those portals that are in line north to south or east to west or whatever. But uh, I don't. know. I think it loses specialness if you know every block has six portals on it. It's like well, you know. well, don't move to Boston. But if there was an exogenous influence in the scanner, quote unquote. I mean, Pokemon Go has the the you know Team Rocket has captured this. Poke a stop. Now you've got to do something to undo it, um, or like a little challenge in there. That could be fun for Ingress if you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, just kind of put the elbow in there, saying. So, so you're saying we should make Pokemon the red faction? No, Nemesis is the red faction. Nemesis needs to to influence the scanner a little more. They need to do some stuff. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen any Nemesis uh, portals lit up or anything like that so that would be kind of interesting see if there's a portal that's hooked that's lit up and it's it's not green it's not blue well, what yeah, color is it? Red. <laughs> red 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 faction so and and i uh <clears throat> i was looking at uh wayfair the other day and i noticed um i had a portal that only have one portal from like years and years ago that that um, hasn't gone through yet and I've actually submitted it a few times since then again because it's a church and I assume it must be on a list of like do not submit because like I cannot find anything wrong with the submissions at this point uh, but there's one also just stuck in there 
and I've heard that. And it's it's uh, I I don't know if if it's stuck because it's on a list or the other ones didn't get approved because it was anyway. So that was the only one that um, hasn't gone through yet. And I, I, the other thing I noticed was if you look at all the portal submissions before I was actually in OPR, they're much more horrible portal <laughs> suggestions uh, before I got to know really what should be a good suggested portal, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's why I also think they need to get people in Wayfair faster or before they're like submitting portals because it's like you know, I wouldn't have submitted Domino's, you know, it just, at the time <laughs> it, or the local bar, you know, all these, uh, bars that like, well, all these bars are, are portals. Why isn't this one a portal? Oh, because that's like TGI Fridays. And that's like, yeah, a, a thing. So have um, you, have you tried editing in Wayfair doing the edit and withdraw that portal and then put it back in? No, maybe, maybe that'll do it. I didn't, um, I didn't know you could edit in there. Oh, I should probably shouldn't move that. That's going to mess things up. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, geez. No, I, th I, while you were talking, I thought, oh, I'll go back and see if you can do that. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can hit the edit on that. I've got one that's a disc golf course. And when you hit the edit, then there's a button that says withdraw. Oh, well, um, okay. So that's withdraw just, it and then go back in and. Yeah. And put it back in. Stuck yeah, that's sort my like, idea. Sort of like restarting a computer. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll try that. I'll report back and see what happens. Uh, now you got a job. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Something to add on to the the Wayfair uh, shenanigans. I believe this is only for Pokemon Go at the moment and only being rolled out as like an initial test, but there are the sponsored way spots mm -hmm. that Pokemon Go will have where, you know, generic small local businesses will be able to pretty much go in and say, I want to have a way spot at my establishment. And I think there's some sort of plan for duration of time that that can be set up based on how much they're willing to pay. Uh, but I think I would really love to see that in Ingress for just adding in more bar portals or, or just restaurants. Yeah. Like you know, you're sitting down, you want to hack something, and there's nothing because that stuff doesn't go through, you know, OPR Wayfair as it would be. Yeah, yeah. I think um, you know, uh, Snapchat used to have something like this where you could actually geofence off a location and have filters pop up just for. Uh, you know, like your company or your event, and you paid basically by the square footage of your geofence and the amount of time that that badge would be there. Like we did it for one podcast at this convention we were going to be at, um, and it was like twelve bucks for like a day with this small area. And if we were in that area, the filter would pop up with our logo on it, so it was kind of cool. Um, but they could do that with like portals, like submit a, a photo and. Uh, where you want this portal to appear at what time and for how long and you could do it for parties you could do it for like conventions you could do it for uh just hanging out with friends um all these different things and people would pay for that and i don't think it would be overpowering because people aren't going to link to it because it's going away you know or maybe you can't even yeah. link to it yeah just make it a non-linkable port make it you know a hack port um but and I think it'd be cool then to like uh, let's amp that up. How about you uh, a party portal that has you know ten <laughs> slots on it, ten mod <laughs> slots on it. Um, Ooh, you know, oh and it's, it's <laughs> right. Like so, you 40, just forty two resonators and ten slots. <laughs> and it's uh, and you know, it's basically like having a fracker at, at you know somewhere else. It's just uh, anyway. I think uh, they could do some fun stuff with that. So I agree. And I finally got the badge fixed. So yay me. <laughs> so we can go on now. So <laughs> yeah. So glyph ha hacking issue, was there an issue you had it? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, he mentioned something about exogenous and getting in and, and uh messing <laughs> with things. I, I just noticed yesterday when I was going around that I again I was in kind of a low cell area. It wasn't too bad. Uh but I saw a couple other people that mentioned this that uh you go through the sequence that you're getting ready to repeat and you know i i just like t 
touched it for the very first one. It's like ding, 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 went through all three or four of them, and and it was done. And I thought oh, that was kind of weird, but you know, it's cold outside. And maybe my finger wasn't warm enough to run this thing or whatever, you know. And I did another one, and I just sat back and watched it, and it just went right through it. So I don't know. Maybe I spit on my phone. I don't know what the deal is, but maybe that's the exogenous that are starting to screw with things. That's that's their easy way to go. Hey, yeah, that bug, just blame it on the exogenous. Blame, blame it on the <laughs> Blame it on Nemesis. Someone got a phone going off? Someone's got a phone yeah. going off, I know. I do. Okay. I um, think it's the red, UJ's got the red phone. It's the exogenous <laughs> going off. It's, that's the, right. Oh, man, screw with the podcast again. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, like I, there's uh, another issue I, I've kind of had was, um, oh, man, I forget where exactly it was, either keys or – Somewhere in inventory where the like the manage buttons go away and and it's just yeah. Like, what do you? Well, if you press on the bottom right corner where the button should be, it's actually still there. You just can't see it, so you can get to the thing. Hmm. So if it happens to you, that's how just go press where the button should be. Well, I, I usually just reset it and go on. But yeah, I'll tr- I'll give that a try. I don't think I've had that happen recently, but I have had the the capsule manage buttons in some older versions occasionally disappear, and then it was just well, I'm resetting ingress. <laughs> I had to reset. I think we had a, we had a contest the first Saturday to see who had the least number of resets. Uh, I, I think our, I think our winner was two. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. I think for the IFS that I did, I, I had two crashes. Uh, um, during the course of play, but I mean, that was a lot of extreme button pushing and yeah. the scanner sometimes doesn't like that when you do it for a prolonged period of time. Like, but Hey, two, two resets in a three hour window is a lot better than it had been yeah. months prior. Yeah. And, and they were probably doing more like six hours of play in those two hours. Cause it's just go, 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 go. So yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Well, that's good. And then, uh, they're they're uh, working on stuff so fast that it's time for a new game. Yay! So Settlers of Catan, uh, this is going to be Catan World Explorers, and um, I it's I haven't seen anything from like Niantic talking about it, but if you go to the page to sign up and, and look at like the privacy policy and, policy and stuff, they are links to Niantic Labs sites. So I guess. I don't know if there's somewhere else that that's been posted by them that they're doing this, but it, it appears that it is them, unless uh, the company doing it uh, ripped off the privacy policy from Niantic. Just use theirs. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> take the time to write a new one. We like theirs. They're they're uh, everybody playing their game seem to be happy about their privacy policy. So uh, just use it. And they've been to court I can't a lot. Wait to have a, a fourth AR game installed and only still play one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh um, I I I play all three, but really Pokemon Go is just with my gotcha thing that pretty much just plays the game for me, and then I'll send presents to friends every once in a while. Yeah, um, I I can't lie, I play Pokemon Go for for really when I'm out rucking. I, I love opening eggs. It's just such a nice thing to to get that credit for the walking distance. Yeah. That's true. But the problem I run into is I have none of the bag upgrades, so I'm instantly full. Friends are yelling at me that I don't open their gifts, and I'm just like, wow, I can't wait for this to come to Ingress so I can do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's delete. Delete a lot of stuff. Well, i got to say, I'm a purist. I, I don't even have the other games on my phone. Just just Ingress. That's it. It's, uh... Oh, man. Sorry, i got to thing popping up over here uh now i will i will note when i went in and looked at uh, the stuff for uh Catan, uh, it, it evidently started as a board game uh, in germany mm-hmm. and when i looked at the board game first thing that came to my mind was the tessellation dun, dun, so dun, the Catan dun. board game looks a lot like the tessellation you know of course tessellation is bigger but ooh. there's some Wood and sheep. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody's going to be like, no, there's more to Catan. No, wood and wood sheep. Wood and sheep. Wood and sheep. So if we see a tessellation tile that shows up that's like a board or a sheep, <laughs> we'll know what's going on. <laughs> be worried. Be very worried. <laughs> Someone's about to win. That's right. They're mixing their games. Uh, speaking of about to win, 
every one of you who wants to win can do it easily by going to the Agent Academy podcast website and entering in this achievement code for this episode, which is AA Nano AA. And there's your own little achievement pack from us to you for free because we're kind like that. Yes, Vane? Is it a really is it a really tiny achievement? Like, can you make the achievement smaller? It's Pequeno or it's, it's small type. It's real small type. Uh, I should make it like a really small one. Well, I could do that, but that uh, <laughs> takes time. And yeah, just downsize it. <laughs> just pretend well, it's small it for now. <laughs> uh, and it should work. Uh, JBJ Blaze approves it. It works in the chat room. Uh, that one was created during the show, so that was. Um, Thanks for telling us it was broken uh, in the first place. <laughs> and that's it for this episode. Um, next week, I don't know if we'll be doing a show because it, it'll be double AP time, and I don't want to be talking to fools when I can be out there getting double AP. <laughs> <coughs> Dream from we'll the field. Do a, yeah, field a- show. Agent Academy into the field. This yeah. is time. It looks like next week I need to get a hat because... You guys have matching hats. Yeah. I, I have to get a hat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, and I got to fix my setup. So, like, I changed my desks and everything around after coming back. After I, I had to um, situation uh, do the live stream for my company at a convention. So, I had to take all my equipment down there. And then it was like, come back and, like, I had to get it set up to edit some stuff real quick when I got back. So, I, like, my camera's over here, which is very odd. <laughs> to be looking at y'all in the show notes over here and it's like profile so <laughs> but getting the anyway so i will change things i think because this is awkward uh, you're just, just looking at me time, between episodes i need to get a better microphone because if i'm going to continue doing this we got to up the production quality here people always microphones microphones lights cameras <laughs> In action. I see some caring. I don't know if y'all see that. But anyway, um, thanks again for a great show. Um, uh, next time, we'll we'll just follow our Twitter and, and go to the Telegram channel. I think that's probably yeah. the best place. Yeah, we usually throw it out on Telegram. We usually lie once or twice, and then we get it right. So don't take the first one you see. Just the second one. But anyway. Y'all have a uh, great week and go get that double AP. Double AP, all of it. Beat Gunagata 16. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.